Hey guys, Thomas the Sizzle Jr. here, aka Mustache Tom, here with my OC Kawaii Critic. This art was done for me by Retro Gala Brony, and I really like this art, so I wanted to give him a shout out. And I might even ask if I can just keep this. It's incredible art. Um, and I wanted to give my OC a bit of an old, slightly different look, so I figure I'd go for it, but enough about that. You see, I wanted to make another MLP video in quite some time, but I got sidetracked with a lot of different reviews that were just coming out. There are a lot of movies that I had to review this year, um, a lot of video games that I ended up doing, and it ended up taking a lot of time to do some of these videos so I pushed this, this off f for quite some time to do a season 6 predictions video now I did want to do a, an official review but I felt like too much time had passed for that but one thing I will say is that my reviewing skills have been severely lacking in season 5 you see looking back I noticed that a lot of my reviews are mostly very positive. Now I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, but I completely, so far, I've neglected to point out any of the flaws or things that could have been improved upon in the show or the season in particular. And that to me is something that I find very helpful, even for myself to practice. So. That is something I neglected to do in season five, and I were and if I were to pick a least favorite episode of season five, it would probably have to be Hoofields and McCults. Um, and yeah, it probably does have to do with how similar it was to that episode in the uh the Airbender show, the Avatar, uh, with the two rival families, but. Enough about that, um, I do wish to improve, but this is a predictions video, so one thing that I was thinking about quite some, for some time was, um, and it would be kind of ironic I guess, is what if Starlight Glimmer became uh, a, an, ele an element, and I was thinking it would probably be kind of ironic if she became the element of equality. Um, and I think that they could actually pull this off if they show it or write it as a quality as in a qual a quality through a uh, diversity instead of similarity where she started. Now they did show a little bit at the very end where she was hanging out with the other ponies, but I would like to see that expanded even further. You know, her going out to different areas, communicating with ponies from different areas. And one thing I wanted to see a bit more of in season six are in fact different areas. Um one area that came to mind was Trottingham. They have uh, listed this place off quite a few times before and yet we have never seen it before so it'd be interesting to see if pony there if pony theirs are are any different um and maybe even introducing some different areas that we didn't get to explore in MLP season 5 i feel like there is a lot of uh potential there to actually explore and expand upon this world um even like you know i did kind of joke about my oc uh being from a place that would be the equivalent of tokyo but why not actually make that like a thing like have ponies that come from some place that would have a very different culture because one thing i personally find very interesting are both linguistic linguistics and culture and i think the show has tackled differences before but i don't think it's quite handled culture in that sort of way um and I mean, I guess you could argue that the whole buffalo thing was sort of that, but I kind of, I, I don't know, I think it could have been handled a little bit better, like, 
Mm. Anyways, it'd be interesting to see a bit more exploration on that part. Just different areas and handling them in different ways that aren't always, you know, negative, maybe. I don't know. Um, so I guess with all that said, I'm going to sign off. So my name is Thomas Sula Jr., a.k.a. Mustache Tom, here with my OC Kawaii Critic. So remember, guys, keep it kawaii.